Hey, what's good, YouTube? I'm Dewan. Recently on my YouTube channel, I completed a RIP series to go over everything RIP. Now, one of the things I feel that I didn't dive deep enough into is hop count. Understanding that. Here on the router fundamentals, you can see that RIP is on the exam. I just wanted to show you this real quick. I highly recommend if you're working on your ICND1, ICND2 to print out the exam topics. And I'll leave a link for that in the description. I configured a packet tracer network here. And what I have is 17 routers that all have IP addresses. And on R17, R16 down on this end, I have networks configured. And on R1, I have networks configured. I also have loopbacks on R16 and R17. I'll put a link in the description where you can download this packet tracer file for yourself so you can really dive in and understand RIP. Let's go to PC1. I have this configured as a network on R1. And what I want to do is I want to try and ping PC2. So if I go in here to PC2 on R16 and I ping 192.168.1.2. Let's see if I can get there. By default, RIP uses hop as its metric. You can go 15 hops within RIP, and anything past 15, so 16 hops, would be infinity, meaning that you would not be able to reach that network. So I can reach PC2. Now let's see if I can reach PC3, which is right here from PC1. I go into ping 192.168.2.2. And it tells me destination destination host unreachable. Now this response is coming back from my own router because it does not have a route in the routing table for that device. Now in my in R1, if I had a default route, it would send it to the next hot router um, or in, in that default route, but it does not have that. Now let's take a look at R1's routing table. So we're in R1. I'm going to do a show IP route. And as you can see, I do not have a gateway at last resort. So it's only going to see the routes that it has identified in its routing table. RIP uses hops as a metric. So this is one hop. This is two hops, three hops, all the way down to the 15th hop. So here is this last hop that it can reach, that it sees, which is going to be our... 16 because right here is R16. If I was to ping its loopback, which is going to be 16.16.16, I can reach it. And if we did a trace a trace route to that next hop or to that router, you can see every hop that I reach going along the way. Boom, I was able to reach that. Now let's see if I can reach R17. So trace route. All right, I can't get there. <laughs> Nothing happens. And that's what it means by the hop count in RIP, 16 to infinity, because R17 is 16 hops away. Now if I was to tail that into R17, I could because I can actually eat, reach this it's inbound interface right here. So that would be telnet 209.65.200.62. Cisco is the password, enable secret, Cisco. And as you can see, I am in R17. I can get there, but I can't see any of the networks that are in the, that are assigned to this router. So this loopback interface, I can't see it. This gigabit, zero one interface i can't see that network on r1 let's pull up both of them side by side let's see if we can do that okay so i have r17 here so ip route you can see the full routing table now if we go in here to r17 let's make sure you can see that let's have these lined up side by side and i do a show ip interface brief and let's say, let's do a pipe, um, exclude the unassigned. So we're just gonna show all the assigned interfaces. And you can see this is the default gateway for PC3. This is the loopback for R17. 
and if I do a show IP protocols, you can see I, I am actually sending these in RIP. So knowing show IP protocols is a very valuable command unless you know what networks you are actually sending for that routing command. And then it also lets you know so many other things that I'll go into in another video. But I just wanted to show you this real quick on understanding RIP's hop count in the 16 to infinity in RIP. If you guys got any questions, please feel free to hit the comment section below. Hit this video with a like, keep pushing, put in the work, and believe in yourself. Peace.